Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 31 of my Algebra Video Tutorials series. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to continue talking about conic sections, but things are going to get a lot more complicated this time because we are going to start talking about parabolas. And I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. All right, so this is going to be part of the tutorial where we're going to start using a lot of the things we've learned about previously to plot parabolas. Okay, so you can see up here, this is the standard form for plotting a parabola. And in this situation, the H is going to represent the horizontal position. As H gets bigger, it is going to move further to the left. And as it gets smaller, it'll move further to the right. And K is going to represent the vertical position. And then, of course, if A is negative, that is going to flip our parabola as we have seen in the past. So what I'm going to mainly focus on here, however, is converting into this standard form. So let's say we have this equation, x squared minus 2x plus 5, and I need to convert it into this standard form. How am I going to do that? Well, what I need to do is I need to complete the square, and I'm going to do this by adding and subtracting the same value. So this is going to become y is equal to x squared, and I talked about completing the square previously, and 2x times 1 plus what? Well, that what is going to be the value of 1, and the reason for using 1 here is because 1 is part of the middle term, and this is going to specifically be x squared. And now what I'm going to be able to convert this into is y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 squared. Now we must add 1 to both sides. So this is going to become y plus 1 is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 5. And we have the rule that a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equivalent to a minus b squared. So this is going to become y plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 squared plus 5. I'm going to move my constant to the right side, so this is going to become y is equal to x minus 1 squared plus 5 minus 1. And then to put it into its final standard form, we will have y is equal to x minus 1 squared plus 4. And based off of this, we now know that the vertex of our parabola is going to be 1x, 4y, and we can come over here and put a dot right there. That's where the parabola is going to grow from. Then we have something that is called the focus, and the focus is the point about which all of the rays from our parabola are going to converge. And with our standard formula that we have, y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, the focus in this situation is going to be h k plus 1 over 4a. And if we take our vertex that we have down here, that means our focus point is going to be 1 and then 4 plus 1 fourth, which is going to be equal to 17 over 4 which of course is going to give us a final focus point. So I'm gonna write this in so you can see it. Our focus is going to be in 1x and 4.25y. So we can once again come over here and draw in that focus point. Let's use an orange. And of course, I'm just estimating where this goes. So there you go, there's your focus point. And also I know based off of what I know about parabolas, that the this is essentially just going to simplify to y is equal to x squared, and then the value of h and k are going to move around 
that basic parabola. So I can go and draw in my parabola with that knowledge. So that means I know that I have a point here and a point here. Why do I know that? Well, I can just look at this as one squared. And what does one squared equal? Well, it equals one. So I'm just moving this parabola up here inside of my area with my knowledge base. Then what is two times two? Well, it's four. So that means I have to move up four spaces. And that means we are going to have our next dot here and our next dot here. And now I can just come in here and draw this parabola. Now there's some other jargon terms that we have whenever we are dealing with parabolas. One of those jargon terms is the axis of symmetry. And it's very simple. This is the axis of symmetry, what I'm drawing in here right now. And it is just the line that divides the parabola in half. So it's nothing you know, other than that. And I'll go and put a special dot right here in red that is going to represent our focus point. And a parabola is basically just all points whose distance from the focus is equal to their distance from another line that is referred to as the direct tricks. So let's zoom in here so you can really focus in on this. All right, so what we know is we have a point at 4.25 right here, and that is our focus point. I'm not gonna bother drawing in the axis of symmetry. And we can take our equation we have here, which is y is equal to x minus 1 squared plus 4. And we can put it in the form of 4PY minus K is equal to X minus H squared, just by saying 1Y minus 4 is equal to X minus 1 squared. And in this situation, I can see that P has a value that is equal to 1 fourth. How do I know that? Well, there's 1. And how do you go and take 4 and convert it into 1? Well, you multiply it times 1 fourth. So I know that P is 1 fourth. And that is going to allow us to be able to find the line that is called the directrix, which is just a line that is parallel to the x-axis. And it is negative p from our central point, or our vertex, which is 1 fourth. So to find our directrix, directrix, what we need to do is take 4 minus, and that 4 comes from this guy right here. That's where the 4 is coming from. 4 minus 1 fourth, which of course is equal to 16 over 4 minus 1 fourth, which is equal to 15 over 4, which is equal to 3.75. And now with that knowledge, I know that my directrix is going to be right here. And I also know that this line is going to be right here. So we got our focus point, our vertex point, and our directrix line. And now I can explain how the focus and the directrix and the parallel all line up together. Basically, we have our focus right here. So our focus is this blue dot. We have our directrix, which is this line that is down here. And every single point from our focus, just draw this in here with a orange line, and our directrix right here with the same orange line. I don't care what point it is on the parabola. This distance right here is going to always be equal to this distance. And that is the basic um, understanding of how parabolas work. And that is that all points of uh, any parabola are going to always be equal distance from the focus and the directrix. Now with that knowledge, I can then create formulas for parabolas if I only know the focus as well as the directrix. And that's what I'm gonna do next. And just so you know that I am not cheating, I am going to use our original formula which is y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 5. And the goal is to get to this knowing only the focus and the directrix. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say, well, because I already know it, 
let's say we have our focus and it was what? 1x 4.25 and our directrix is y is equal to 3.75 and I'm going to use our formula here which is going to be y minus 3.75 squared and then we'll have our square root this is going to be equal to x minus 1 squared plus y minus 4.25 squared and of course I can come in here and square both sides and if I do that I end up having well, you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go and solve this part here okay so let's say I have x minus 1 squared and I'm going to simplify this plus y minus 4.25 squared this is going to be converted into x squared minus 1x minus 1x and I'm just this is coming from this part right here and of course I'm just taking x times x and then I'm taking um, x times negative 1 and then x times negative 1 and then negative 1 times negative 1 which gives me 1 okay just basic stuff that we've done I don't know how many times during this course of this tutorial and then we'll have y squared and I actually don't need this guy and I need more room so I'm just gonna leave that there okay so this is y squared and I'm basically just uh, working through and simplifying everything that we have here y minus 4.25 y and then finally we will have plus 18.0625 and you may be thinking to yourself I don't know this is getting kind of complicated with really crazy types of fractions here Are you sure I'm gonna be able to get to that goal yeah, yeah I will be able to well this is gonna be further simplified down to x squared minus 2x plus y squared plus 19 point oh six two five minus eight point five y and now that I have that one done so this guy right here has been simplified down I'm now going to go and simplify this one down so we have y minus three point seven five squared and that is going to be converted into y squared minus 3.75y minus 3.75y plus 14.0625 all right and now that i have that all set up i can combine this guy right here with this guy right here to get our final equation so this is going to become y squared minus 7.5 y plus 14.0625 equal to and I'm pulling from here now x squared minus 2x plus y squared plus 19 point oh six two five minus eight point five y and I'm gonna subtract fourteen point oh six two five from both sides of our formula we have here and that is gonna leave me with y squared minus seven point five y this guy right here is gone which is equal to x squared minus 2x plus y squared plus 5 minus 8.5y and then I just come in and subtract y squared minus 8.5y from both sides and that is going to leave me with our final formula which is y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 5 and that is how you get that is our goal up here we achieved our goal and that is how you go and create a standard form formula for graphing a parabola with only 
the focus and the directrix. So hopefully that made sense. If not, it's basically because you need to review how to solve simple equations, which of course I do earlier in this video tutorial series. And hopefully you found this useful. And like always, please leave your questions and comments down below. Otherwise, till next time.